In this presentation, we will look at creating a sales order. We are still in the cost object controlling section and in that the third section is product cost by sales order. Now product cost by sales order, when you commonly refer to it, it means that you are using this sales order as a cost object. And this sales order, product cost by sales order scenario is mainly used for customized ordered or make to order scenarios. So if you have some custom order specifically, which is not part of your standard repetitive manufacturing environment, then you use product cost by sales order. Now in SAP, sales order is commonly used in the SD module as your sales and distribution module. And then it is not referred to as a cost object. It is merely a way of selling your materials or your finished goods material via a type of order and that is why you call it as a sales order. So it is used to sell everything. In this scenario, the sales order is not a cost object. It is merely a carrying device just like your purchase order. When you purchase from a vendor, the sales order is just something which you are going to sell your finished goods material to a customer. Now let's have a look at the sales process. So initially you create a sales order. In this you mention your customer master, you mention what are the materials you are going to sell, the quantity, the pricing and so on. All this information is captured in the sales order, relevant to your sales organ, company code and so on. At this point of time, it is only a commitment that you are selling these items to the customer. However, it does not have any financial accounting entries. There are no financial implications at the time of this creating a sales order. But when you are issuing the goods to the customer, there the inventory you are moving or the finished goods products you are moving from your store and you are issuing to the customer, then there is a movement of inventory, hence the financial accounting starts from here. So your finished goods products or your inventory materials credit is credited and your cost of goods sold account is debited. This will hit your PNL and this will hit your balance sheet. Then after the goods issue, you do the billing process. Then you are going to start getting the revenue to your PNL account. So then a revenue account is credited and then you are going to debit your custom account. This is your account receivable account. This is part of your balance sheet. So again, at the time of billing also, a financial entry happens where it affects both your PNL statement and your balance sheet statement. Then after that you have further processing with regard to collecting the money from your customer and also clearing your bank accounts but that is not part of the sales process that's merely part of another set of financial accounting entry although it initially starts off with the sales process but we are concentrating mostly on is a goods issue and the billing part now there are some prerequisites before you can start creating a sales order very important that you need to do some sd related configuration settings we will look at them one by one when you start going through, going through creating the sales order. Initially, of course, you need to set up the customer master data because you need a customer for your sales order. You also need to create your sales org setting and SD related configurations. We will have a look at that as well. Then the COPA related configuration settings are optional settings if you want to have COP activated. But it's always better to have it so you can have a full view of how the sales order related information is also getting captured in your profitability analysis. You also have to extend some material master related views. For example, remember when we try to do the purchase order, we have to extend the material master to the purchasing views. Similarly, you have to extend the material master to the sales views as well. We will also have a look at how to do these settings. Now let's look at creating some basic configuration settings for the sales process. So come to your SAP IMG menu path, enterprise structure, definition, sales and distribution and you can see define copy delete check sales organization let me show you if there's a short transition code for that and that should come up over here obx5 with a short transition code now usually you create one sales org for each company code just like what we did for purchasing org also for each company code so i'm just going to select this now and I'll choose define sales org over here and I'm going to create my own sales org so just click on new entries so I'm just going to call this as MNM1 and I'll call it MNM sales org over here 
and you can put all this information over here. I'm just going to leave everything as it is. You can also assign a plant.